guys it's Daphne and we're working on underwater love and this is page one and I really like this page um, it's gonna be simple but I just think these birds these parrots are so pretty so this is from the 8x8 collection and I split it right here at four and a half so this pocket is four and five eighths by nine four and five eighths by nine and we're going to install it vertically on the right hand side of page one and actually just like I said this is actually just split in half right at four and a half and that's why this is four and five eighths I just need that extra eighth inch um, to use all of my designer paper okay I hope everybody's doing well. I'm in the process of uploading the cover right now. So that's fun and it's very layered. I think you guys are gonna enjoy it. And um, I think, well, what I've decided to do is do just the cover on its own and then I'll do the inside liners and the page installation for a separate video. I, a lot of times I do my cover last, but I'm doing my cover is build one, page one is build two, etc. I think I'm just gonna build this right in order. It seems easier to do it with um, Chow Bella and Stamparia because I'm not trying to distribute a pattern um, because each page is unique. In the graphic collections, I have repeated patterns and so that's why I build it so much out of sequence is I'm trying to distribute the patterns across the book um, and it just lends itself to that that type of design process did I get everything I did And then this is the piece I sliced off. It's gonna fit slightly into the pocket. I need to make sure I've got it going the right way. Yep, there's the continuation. So this is the side that needs glue. So that is page one. Now as part of page one, I made this seven by seven and I did notched corners. It's just a seven by seven photo panel and it's gonna go right in here. And then I also made this little uh, photo card, photo slash journaling card. This came from the 12 by 12 and I think this did, no, this is from the eight by eight collection pack. And I think it has a couple of images and then three images on the bottom if I'm not mistaken. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, it's this one. So it's the cover of the 8x8. So I use that for this. And then when you tuck it in, she winds up with this nice um, wooden frame around her. So I'm pretty happy with the way. I do think I'm going to have um, more paper left over to add some additional inserts here and I'll probably do a bifold but since this is page one and all I've done is page one in the cover I'm going to hold off on adding any additional um, inserts here so but I do know that I am going to do a couple of other pocket pages like this because the the page design layout just sort of calls for it so I'm looking forward to doing that and then doing some super fun inserts so again this is page one ciao bella underwater love this is Daphne from Scrap and Create. I'll be back soon with page two.